actually, it was a dream that I had about something like that happening to a woman. And the dream was specifically that the family was in the restaurant business. And the reason I had that dream was because my first husband who died very young, uh, I was in my, when I started writing this book, it was like my late in my thirties, you know, and he had just died. <coughs> Sorry, you can cut that out. I hope um, he had just died and his family was uh, in the, had Italian restaurants in Chicago. And so I felt very much that that was a part of my molecules. And I thought, what if I wrote about this family and put this family in the same situation that, as the Allegretti's were? And, but it was, I know that it was based on a case that took place when I was just starting college of a, a famous kidnapping case of a kid called Steven Stainer. And extraordinarily, uh, case much worse than the case that I made up for the deep end of the ocean. Although there, you know, Stephen Stainer was returned to his family. He made a daring escape from the person who had kidnapped him after nine years, returned to his family, um, walked into a police station and said, I think my name is Stephen. And uh, had taken another little kid, the pedophile who had kept him had taken another little kid and he walked out with that kid uh, in order to save him, save the kid. And his, when he returned, of course, the family had not been that sorted out to begin with. And his return was a, it was a mixed blessing because they were thrust into all kinds of media attention and all of the uh, flaws and uh, travail in the family was exposed. And the older brother, Carrie Stainer, his older brother, who had loved Stephen intensely and missed him intensely, was almost driven mad, entirely driven mad uh, by uh, all the attention given to his brother. And he later would go to Yosemite where he became a caretaker in the park and he murdered two women. Uh, and the foreign exchange student who lived with the family. So that was, uh, it was an absolutely heartbreaking and harrowing story. I didn't have that happen in my story. It was harrowing enough, just the emotional part of it. But I, to me, the most interesting stories, and if you read any other of my books, you'll find out that this is true, that what I write about is the effect of the things that happen rather than the things themselves. When I was writing the book, I had a kid, well, I still have the kid, but he's grown up now. And he was about uh, five at that time. And he asked me if there was a deep end of the ocean. I said, that there wasn't, that it was like a bowl, that there were shallow parts in the middle and there were deep parts and it went up and down. And he said, no, mom, you're wrong. There is a deep end of the ocean. And if you go there, you can't ever come back. And I thought that would be a good title for a book. 